Hello everyone, in today's tech tip we are going to see how we can use scissor and split cap command on our trust module. As you can see, these two commands are not part of the trust profiles command. And that means that we can use them in order to edit our existing envelopes. So in that case, I'm going to select the roof here and then and click on common. We need to select the main ridge line and then the two supports and finish. And then we can set our support alignment to, for example, center of the, our structural layer and can click on OK. And on the right corner, we can check the spacing for our common trusses. By default, it's set to one foot and we can switch it to two feet here and we can click on OK. Now we are having these common envelopes. We can use these common envelopes for these two commands. I just need to select one envelope. Let's type in HI and let's take a look at it in the right view. First, we need to make sure that we edit this rapid line group. We just need to double click here and we can delete the support line. So I'm just going to delete it with the delete button on my keyboard and finish. Then we can select this existing envelope and we can click on Caesar. Here, we just need to add the elevation of our Caesar truss. Again, by default, it's set to two feet, so we can switch it, for example, to four feet. And we have this option here on the bottom, apply to all instances of the same group. If you would like to update all the common envelopes that you have, you can keep this one checked. But if you are going to individually edit this envelope, you can just uncheck it here and you can click on OK. It will uh, automatically rename this trust because we are editing it individually. So we can click on Auto Rename. And now if uh, we take a closer look, if we add a dimension line from this pitch break to the bottom, that would be four feet. If we type in HR and when we go back to our model, you will see that it has edited just the one envelope that we have selected. And here we are having the Caesar envelope. Now the next one next to it is this split cap uh, command. So I'm going to select another envelope. Let's type in HI. Again, we can select the existing envelope and split cap. We have two options here. One, the first one is height of the lower truss. So here we can set the height of our first truss here on the bottom. And then we have gap between trusses. If you would like to have a small gap between these two trusses, the one on the top and the one on the bottom, you can add the value here. But if you don't want to have any gaps, you can just set it to zero. So we can set it to, for example, three feet and zero. If you would like to have a stop cap truss, you can check this option and you can add the value in front of it but you can also keep it unchecked. The last option is the same as Caesar Trust. If you would like to edit all the envelopes, you can keep this one checked, but if you would like to edit this trust individually, you can keep it unchecked and okay. And here is our uh, cap, splitted cap truss. On the bottom, the height of the truss is three feet and we are not having any gaps between our envelopes. So this was our tech tip. 